now that you have a structure, right? You've got the keyword for it. You've got the members of the structure. And we have created a couple of instances of that structure. What can you do to initialize it? So like with previous data that we have used in the 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 previous data types that we have used so everything from integers to vectors right um, and even pointers um, the the same goes here for initialization so I know that some of you are still um, I'm going to say luckily unaware of the damage that can be done by not initializing a a variable because it just turns out that you're lucky and I can appreciate that you have lived a charmed life up until this point um, but you won't get away forever that way it is always a good idea to initialize your variables so it's still a good idea here with your structure to initialize it there's a couple of different ways that you can do this here in chapter 11 can I suggest that this is the basic rudimentary way that we are going to do this and we are going to come back and visit this idea again but the underlying you know I can't use the word structure for a structure here but the underlying rules here are going to be the same so um, when we initialize a structure here on page 623 and again this is 11.4 on 623 you can see we have a structure called city info and again the c in city and the i in info are capitalized so as to show instantly to the next developer in the chain that we are in fact talking about a structure and not talking about an array or a vector or something with single member items um You'll just draw your attention to the order in which our members are listed here. So string city name, string state, long population, and int for distance. So now when we initialize the, the structure here, the first thing, the first, the first, value we are giving before the first comma here is going to be that string for city name the second one is going to be the string for state the third is going to be the long for population and then comes the distance for or the integer value for that distance so here are things to be aware of um, number one if you did not know what you are going to initialize these values to. You can absolutely positively leave an empty string here, an empty string here, a zero and a zero here. That would be safer. Um, there are different ways to do this initialization. You do not have to initialize all of the member functions of a structure so you could just do city info location equals tampa or you could do city info equals tampa and then leave everything else blank what i will say is what you cannot do is have an empty member and then have something else being initialized after it what happens in C++ is once it encounters an uninitialized member of a structure, everything remaining is going to be uninitialized as well. It just drops the idea of being able to initialize any of those members after that. So that is one of the things that I know roughly half of you are going to want to do someplace, but are going to run into this uh, limitation baked into uh, how it is that C++ looks at initializing structures. It is not legal. So that will cause an error at compilation time so that you are aware. 
so that's pretty much it. Um, once we have those members initialized, we can start referring to them by their member name. So location dot city name, loca location dot state, location dot population, etc. So I think so far this all should be, you know, perfect sense. We have the idea of a structure because not everything is just going to be baked into C++. I, you know, am a student. I am a teacher. I am an employee. And there is no such thing baked into the pudding of C++. So as a developer, you want to be able to do those things. You can access any of the members. So these would be the members of this structure. So a string city name, string state, long population, int, distance. And you can access those by name. And just with every other cardinal primitive data type, we can also and should also be able to initialize those values so that we're not relying on whatever the garbage is from previous runs of, you know, the storage that C++ is able to uh, to use and to access. We do not want to simply rely on the garbage that could be left behind. So, in fact, we do want to initialize the members of that structure.